okay now tell me this. now tell me what is the use of this one what is what what is, what is the what is the difference between this one and this one here also i can store the movies right on entire movies i can store it all those things moves right what is that easy to access or else easy to search it for example you want to watch malayala movie in malayala movie you want to watch comedy movie how easy right malayala movie you click it Malaya, you you go for the movie you will go for the click for the movie and you go for the comedy movie and you will go for here in this you will search it you want to search it only with so much now if you want to watch any of the movie you want to access so much guys entire thing you want to access it you want to search it all right it it will become very much difficulty for 100 200 is okay what about 1000 movies what about 2000 movies? what about 1 lakh movies like this if you are storing it become very difficulty right the same thing they came across guys the same thing they came across they have done it something called as different header files okay there is something called as stdio.h it's a file name and extension is .h that's it there is something called as stdlib.h there is something called as math.h there is something called as string.h there are like many many header files right this many header files you have it so each header files has its unique feature okay in this header files all you have is this function declaration a file it is it's a file some some program have been written in that what it has been written all the function declaration macros that this everything in this stdio all the related to input output operation input output operation to be it is related to input output operation everything is written here for example file handling uh, methods uh, your printf scanf is written inside this if you want to use printf if you want to use printf you need to use this header file if you want to use scanf you need to use your head this header file if you want to related anything file related files you need to use this header file hdlib for example malloc calloc real log that this everything has been written here if you want to relate use use something called as mathematic related function you need to use here string related function used to use here what happens it becomes very much easy and this entire header files are inside one folder that is called as include include now i will tell simple english case look on your guess include inc lude include i will tell about the symbol why the symbol is inside the symbol you can also use this one also if it is in the current folder you can use double inverted comma if it is in the different folder you need to use angular braces to searching purpose what's the file i want to use it now i'm using printf that's the reason i'm using it what stdio stdio.h that's the reason i'm using this stdio.h standard input output related function entire thing has been written here entire program has been written here look here guys you will take one picture with your friend you will take one picture with your friend and you will tag with the instagram how do you tag it guys you just sell it as hashtag what will happen your friend will get invoke now this file should get invoke right i will just tell it as like hash keyword i will use it that's the reason i'll be using hash from the years we are tagging it guys we didn't knew about this just we are invoking it instead of writing this printf function again and again i'll just call this function i'll just invoke this function got this picture clear what is it i'm writing it here same thing for everything stdio is a file which is in the include file i'm just hashtagging it so that it will include to my current folder include to my current folder reason i'll be using it here guys i'll be using hash inc lu de hash include stdio look here guys we we don't want to buy anything this all came with the reason everything has its own reason that is what i want to tell to you look on here guys now no error no nothing i am having no that we started with just to print this data to print this data i wanted all those things and you got the reason why i wanted all those things and take down this and this is called as header files or pre processed directives you know this right and this is called as body right body and this is called as function all right those are all called as syntax syntax later on i'll tell tell about it i just want to tell it now later on i'll tell about it take down this take down this take down this here instead of mivweb you can tell it as your favorite name favorite person name it can be anyone it can be boyfriend girlfriend mother dad dog, uh, dog name cat name god name right brother name sister name any any name you can use it your name 
any name you can use it right let's start with a good intention let's start with this program the first program of your life a new life new programming life important thing is why it is hash include like this you are writing it what is this header file that this everything so inside the header files it's a file where you where they have written some certain set of programs already defined it's like you know like you will import the things import file already they have written it we are using it it's like uh, you know like a ready-made biryani masala you will get it from the shop you will get it and you'll use it you are not making it it's in the SDI both at the same thing you will go for that certain things and you will get it you don't want to create it again and again that's done okay let's let's look on here okay let's look on here there is something which you need to know about it okay look on here guys I'm telling this one your favorite line int i is equals to 10 now int i is equals to 10 now I want to print this right I want to display this 10 10 may no display account I am 10 and display account I want to tell it as inside the printf to display thing you need to have printf right inside the printf I'll tell it as like i if I tell it as i what will happen now look on here instead of if I tell it as like i okay if I tell it like i okay if I tell i if I tell i what will happen look on here guys I'll get so many uh, errors look on here warning passing argument of one printf makes pointer for integer without a cast okay I cannot do this so many errors case format not an string literal or uh, and no format argument right so many warnings errors i'm getting it and again i'm getting what segmentation fault also i'm getting it all these errors i'm getting it but i want to print it i right to print i i want to tell them in which format you wanted it okay this data this is a data 10 is a data in which format you wanted it that's the reason I'll put up in this double inverted commas and I will tell it has a format specifier called as percentage D comma I will tell it one parameter is for format specifier other one is for which variable I'll run this program now okay I'll come across this I'll come across this okay not to worry about it what I'm getting it I'm getting it 10 now I guess let's discuss about the format specifier. I will list you out the format specifier, entire format specifier. For all the data, you have the format specifier. What do you mean by format specifier, guys? For example, look on here, guys. There is one file. This file can be displayed in a different format. You know, like .txt format, or, or .document format, or .pdf format, .xml format. Right? This all the different formats. One data. You can display it in the different format. Remember this. Same thing, you also have a format specifier over here. I will tell you the format specifier. You tell the name for that case. You just go on telling the name. That's more than enough for me. Okay? Let's start it. I will tell it has percentage C. Tell me, guys, percentage C is for, for which one? Percentage C, percentage C, percentage C. In the name. Everyone, 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 everyone. Percentage C is for character. That's really nice. Percentage D is for percentage D is for D D D D D D D D D D D. And then integer on D parallel and then double ala D parallel and what do you mean by D? D means decimal number. That's the reason you're using D. Right? Percentage S is for percentage S is for. And then a string on all right uh percentage f is for percentage f is for <coughs> percentage f is for everyone 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 soon 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 float percentage d is for so percentage lf sorry lf is for lf is for you open the chat box and keep it Hear my voice and type it. What is that guess? Percentage LF is for? LF is for long float. Or you can read as double. Double and long float. One the same. Percentage uppercase LEF is for? 
uppercase L F S. Use some little con common sense, you will get this point. Float I, long float I, double I. Next one. Look here, nothing to be by heart. Just we need to use it in a proper order. Percentage LF is four. Float I, long float I, double I. Long float I, 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 long double. That is for long double. Percentage uh, LD is for this. Percentage LD is for. Percentage LD is for DI integer. LDI in the nano. Why this LD is? Guys, tell me now. If it is wrong, also, that's fine. No problem. Long integer. Right. What is that? Long integer right percentage u is for percentage u is for important one percentage u is for Unsigned. 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 Money. Right. Unsigned. Percentage LU is for. Percentage LU is for long unsigned. Right. Percentage LU is for long unsigned. That's fine. No problem. Percentage O is for this. O. Guys, percentage O is for O O O O Octa Octa number Sariva Octa number seven and Zero to seven and zero to seven octa numbers. Ale percentage uh, X is for X X percentage X. Hmm, hexadecimal. Hexadecimals per null in the 0 to 9 and again 8 to F. Alright, this is what the hexadecimal is. Alright, percentage E and percentage uppercase E. This is you can tell it. You can tell this, you can tell this. So, Madam Richter, tell me, tell me, tell me, tell me this. <coughs> it is nothing but exponential. Exponential. It's called as what? Exponential. Okay, so so much is done. So many formats was far as then. Okay. Uh, there are like a lot many guys. I just want to tell you. Percentage I is for. Percentage I is for this. Idrisano. Percentage I is for.
ice for both integer octa as well as hexa everything you can use it in. same thing percent is g and g is for both the things maybe like uh, flow to you can use it and again you can use it for double also to display this okay one important last one important one okay this one you have to remember it for your life percentage p is for lowercase itself <coughs> percentage p is for this you put it hundred star in front of this one this is very important percentage p is for What is that? Pointers, or else you can tell it as address. Address very important, Anna. or else you can tell it like pointer. Right? Pointer, you can tell it. It will be in the hexadecimal. Okay, it will be in the form of what? Hexadecimal. Okay, take down this case. Take down this format specifiers. Take down this format specifier case. Not to worry about it. Don't buy it. Just go. We we will be using it. I'll tell it as integer. Integer D. Float F. Right, all the initial characters you have it. Even for the integer, you can also use IO itself. No problem. Got it? Nothing to bahat here. Okay. <laughs> so these are all the format specifier. We'll be using this format. So what is this format specifier is for? Okay. For example, look on here, guys. Okay. For example, look on here. I have told you something like this. Okay. So I will I will go across something like this. Uh, I will tell it as like uh, you know. Uh, int a equals to 65 i will tell it all right 65 so integer means what guys it will go here it will store it like this all right 65 will store it like this and it has a thousand and this is what the a is variable a is right but 65 won't be stored like this it will store in the form of what guys one and zeros how 65 is stored uh, for example if i tell this one as like uh, one two or uh, four eight sixteen thirty two sixty four 65, 65 is stored how guys 1 0 0 0 0 0 1 so this is how 64 is stored 65 is stored right guys and this data this data can i i can get it in a different format this is what the data is if i if i tell it as a percentage d if i tell percentage d i will get it in a different format if i tell percentage c i will get it in a different format i'll get a different format if i tell it as like percentage uh, you know like percentage x i'll get a different format if i tell a percentage uh, o i'll get a different format got it this this all will get a different format for me uh, let's let's check it out let's check it out okay so let's check it out okay i'll go here i'll go here i'll i'll, I'll just tell it as like this look on here guys look on here i will just tell it as like this uh what are there like uh, i'll just tell it like printf printf i will tell it as like a equals to what is that 65 i will tell it and 65 i'll come here and i'll tell it like what is percentage d i will tell it percentage c i will tell it percentage o i will tell it percentage x i will tell it right a comma a comma a comma a all right so four things in a different formats it is printing it data is one and zero itself but in which format it is printing it that is very important right look on your case it is getting 65 it is for a for 65 for in the character it is getting a this one is getting 101 and it is getting 41 all right 101 41 101 41 so this one i'm getting it has uh, 101 and this one is getting what has 41 and this one is getting what has a uppercase a character and this is nothing but what 65 data is only one thing but i'm getting a what different formats for specifiers, different formats it is nothing but hexadecimal for example if i tell it as 15 itself you take it 15 itself you take it if it has 15 hexadecimal you will get it first for percentage x you will get it f for o you will get it something like this look on your guess for 15 what will get it uh zero to seven it will get it seven is nothing but seven itself one zero is nothing but eight right one zero one one is nothing but uh, nine uh one two is nothing but ten uh one three is nothing but eleven one four is nothing but 12 one five is nothing but 13. so i'll get it 13 i might be i'll get it 13. all right so this is what i get it because it is an octa number all right so if i tell percentage o percentage o i need to get it what 13. if i tell percentage d i will get it what 15 itself all right the same thing here 
I'll come here and I'll tell us like this. Character, I don't know. I have really no idea. Some ASCII value will get it. 15, I'll tell it. If it's 15, what happens now? So I'll run this program, I'll run this program, I'll run this program, I'll run this program. So I'll be getting something like this here. Okay, after this, we'll do this something. Look on your guess. I'm getting 15, 17, I'm getting it. I'm getting it EF here. Okay, F, F is for which one, guys? This one, uh, hexadecimal. Oh, I am getting it, what is 17, I am getting it. Uh oh, wait a second, 17, I am getting it. Okay, yeah, right. To get it 15, to get it 15, I will tell 17 itself. Now, 12, 13, 14, for 14, I am getting 16. I should get octa number 16. For 15, I want to get it 17. That is what I am getting it. Sorry, I should get it, what, 17 over here, not 13. For 15, in the decimal point, 15, 15 should be displayed in the octa. This is octa number, this is the decimal number. For decimal 15, I want to get it octa 17. All right, that's how I'm getting it. 15 is the only one data. Data is all about one and zero, putting in a different format. The same thing, I told you, file is the only one file, which is the different formats you will get it, format specifies of the file, different formats of the file. So that is what I wanted in total. Okay, take down this so much, guys. Take down this so much.